In 1897, Queen Victoria was on the British throne and William McKinley became the 25th President of the United States. 1897 also marked the birth of Shores of Darwin, producers of architectural and decorative terracotta and faience of the highest quality. Deep in the heart of Lancashire, England's Red Rose County, the Shores factory is set in beautiful open countryside. Shores of Darwin has served the international construction industry for over 100 years. We are extremely proud of our heritage, craftsmanship and unrivalled experience. We'd like to share it with you by showing you how we create terracotta for some of the finest buildings in the world. Shores is a hands-on, practical company and site visits are vital for both restoration and new build projects. Architectural terracotta comes in a huge range of colours. The first task in any restoration project is to ensure a true colour match using the eye of time-served experts and technical colour analysis. Once the colour match is approved by the client, then production can proceed. At the same time as the colour match, Shaw's designers work with the client to develop the architectural drawings on which the plaster models, moulds and castings are based. Plaster sculpting, modelling and moulding are highly skilled. Terracotta shrinks during drying and firing and the correct shrinkage rates have to be incorporated. Once completed, the plaster model is used to create the reverse mould used in the casting process. The raw material used in terracotta manufacture is called slip, a tightly controlled mixture of clay and water. The slip is poured or hand pressed into the porous plaster moulds which naturally absorb water and allow the raw terracotta blocks to form. The terracotta blocks are carefully removed from the moulds which can consist of several sections. The pieces are hand finished using a variety of techniques such as sponging and fettling to ensure the desired quality of finish is achieved. The blocks are placed in special ovens to dry out slowly so that the structural integrity of the block is maintained. Glazed terracotta is sometimes referred to as faience. If a glazed finish is specified, it is spray applied before the terracotta blocks are carefully loaded into kilns for firing. The temperature in the kilns can reach 1200 degrees centigrade, the temperature of volcanic magma, and the firing process is carefully monitored and controlled. The terracotta block is subjected to a final quality control procedure including detailed measurement and colour checking against the approved colour sample. Shaw terracotta and faience are used on projects around the world and great care is taken when packaging the blocks to make sure they reach site in exactly the same condition as when they left the factory. London is home to many of the world's finest terracotta buildings and, over recent years, Shaw's has worked on numerous high-profile restoration projects. The Natural History Museum, Harrods Department Store, the Hoover Building and the London Coliseum, to name just a few. Perhaps the jewel in the crown of recent London projects has been our work on the construction of the new South Porch at the Royal Albert Hall. Shaw's was chosen as the only company with the experience, expertise and capacity to carry out what must be considered the largest and most prestigious new build project for many years. Over 8,400 terracotta blocks were produced from nearly 800 different models and moulds. Shaw's continues to be a major player on international projects such as the restoration of the Wrigley Building in Chicago. Our technical ability in the matching of detail blending of clays and moulding of clay bodies is unrivalled. We understand how fired clay improves with age and weathers to produce subtle nuances of shade and colour. Shaw's Architectural Terracotta and Faience
craftsmanship at its very finest since 1897.